Welcome to Good Myth of Gamora. Have you ever looked at pictures of old scientists and thought, well, that guy's hotter than I anticipated? <laughs> well, you're about to. But first, in the name of science, let's explore a random disturbing fact. Oh, good. Did you know that there are colors that humans can't see and you can't even try to imagine what they would look like? You can't even see them. I knew about this Who because I listened them? to Moles? a podcast one time about uh, uh, I think it was a butterfly that sees like millions of colors. Wow. So the spectrum is more detailed and also goes out further to the left and the right. Like they can see what ultraviolet looks like. We can't see that. But let's wow. just see what the official explanation is. Zach doesn't have an official explanation. <laughs> that was a test, Zach. <laughs> and because you, I just gave you the official explanation. You failed. Um, all right, so we're gonna play a game of uh, Buddy Daddy Enemy where we, we look at a set of three scientists and then we each have to decide which one we want to be our friend, which one we want to be our father, and which one we want to be our arch nemesis. Okay, this is easy for me. Let's, let's, um, let's learn a little bit oh, about yeah, these yeah. guys. Oh, yeah, First yeah, of yeah, all, yeah. that Hermann Rorschach is good looking. So this guy was around from 84 to nine, uh, 1922, that means that's how long he lived. Uh, wasn't that old when he 1884. died? 1884. 1884 to uh, 1922. As we established earlier, he's a Swiss psychiatrist, psychoanalyst, developed the Rorschach test in, in 21. Wow, he, he developed it in 21 and then died in 22. I guess mm. it's dangerous to be good at science. Oh, he died at 38 uh, of... Ink blot. He was, drink, he was drinking ink. Abdominal swelling, most likely the result of a ruptured appendix. Even the scientists oh, can dang. die of appendicitis, so you better watch out if you start feeling that pain in your lower right abdomen. I'd like to see or is that it the left? on a Rorschach <laughs> It's key. And it, I think it's the, it, let's, let's verify that, I think it's the right. Albert Einstein, we know enough about him. Uh, we got a lot of these to go through, so I don't yeah, think. Yeah, and then, okay, so Jonas Salk. He was a chemist, right? He was a uh, virologist and medical oh. researcher and developed the first polio vaccine. Uh, let's see. Say, he saved a lot of people. Uh, he chose not to patent the vaccine or seek any profit uh, to maximize its global distribution. <laughs> Moderna would have something to say about that. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, I just think I want to be best friends with Einstein. Uh, so, so do I. This guy's too enemy. Too good oh, looking. Oh yes, that, that. And this this guy kind of looks like my dad. Yeah, he he seems boring, but can give you good advice in saving people. We totally agree on this. I was I was thinking the same thing. I mean, Rorschach. It's not because he's hot. It's because I don't know. He would just get in my mind he, every time. He'd be asking me to interpret things all the time, and then telling me how screwed oh, up. What I do am. you think of that sign? And so, it's so subjective. I'm sorry. So, Daddy, you're using the meaning of Daddy as, and you would want this Have gentleman this to be dad. your father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want mm. us to change that? Dimitri mm, okay. Mendeleev. Oh, you know, we can update our strategy. Because you're who, saying that Rorschach would have been daddy in that one. Who a two of I mean, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, these guys, uh, only one of them has a real picture. Uh, Aristotle, you know him. Uh, this is all the way back in the 300s BC philosopher. Came up with a lot of things. But modern philosophy, largely based on a lot of things that he had to say. Okay, mm. then you have um, it's good to have Watto. A friend like that. Who was uh, from 140 to 208? He's a Chinese physician who lived according to uh, lived during the the Eastern Han Dynasty. What did he do? He's a doctor. Uh, huh? he, he's the first person to use anesthesia. Oh, I, first of all, thank you. Um, mm. He would use general anesthesia, combining wine with a herbal concoction. Okay, Daddy like then, anesthesia. Uh, Dmitri Mendeleev. Uh, this is the chemist. He's the chemist. Uh, who developed the periodic table of elements, which he actually, I, I knew about this. Uh, he saw the, t the table in a dream and woke up and started writing it down. That's pretty cool. Uh, but also scary. Kind of crazy. Okay, uh, so you've already made your decisions. Uh, well, this is tough. Uh, I kind of feel like um, my enemy would be Aristotle. Why is that? He just is because he thinks hard. He just looks a little too stoic. Uh, my buddy That's is going to be a guy who can constantly give me uh, anesthesia. Yeah, you don't want you, you don't. Know what I mean, you don't want to be on the bad side of a guy who can who, who just anesthetize you. And I'm going to go with Daddy from Mendeleev, and I'm not saying that I want him to be my dad. I'm just saying 
daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, look at that beard. Look at that hair. Does it remind you of anybody? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay. You love yourself is really what you're saying. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Uh, Learning a lot today. Hey, by the way, we got a coloring book for uh, adults of all ages. Uh, the mythical coloring book. Lots of fun stuff to, to, I mean, the detailed colorings that we're seeing from the mythical beasts so are, are, so detailed, so are colorful. pretty amazing. It's, it's nice to have a little project. George Washington Carver, the peanut man himself, got lots of love. Charles Darwin, the father of uh, evolution and turtles. Father, father of turtles. And Edwin Hubble, the guy who, who saw far out into space uh, because he was a telescope. He was the guy who, he was the guy who made the first observations uh, that led to uh, understanding the Big Bang had happened, and he did that just right up the hill, just right up the hill at Mount Wilson. Can you believe that? And the the, the you can the, basically uh, see that from here. The fires threatened the um, the telescope, but and, they, and were they were saved. Man, the firefighters were up there surrounding that telescope for days. It was crazy. There's gonna be a movie about it, I'm sure. Uh, buddy. George Washington Carver. I want to be buddy. Now, I'm right about all the peanut of it all, right? Yes. Um, oh, so you're using the blue this time? Nope. That's I'll, me. I'll use the red. That's me. That's me. I want to be buddies with George Washington Carver because... I just don't know who... He, he invented... Not, he doesn't invent peanut butter. He invented, like, all kinds of things. Th these may be my three favorite scientists all in one place. This is difficult. Uh, I want uh, Darwin to be my daddy because he's a traveler. You know, he he he's, he was he, he was he on the a, what was the name of his ship that went to the Galapagos? Uh, the Beagle. The Beagle. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go on the Beagle. I want to travel the world. He knows a lot about things. I just I, I'm he's having trouble thinker. with the enemy. Like I'm giving the enemy to Hubble just because pipe smoke is is really good, like from a distance. But when you get around somebody who's smoking a pipe, uh, sometimes you just want to take it and just do this and it will go right into their brain. So you, you, you're saying he's an e easy target as an enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you can I'll, take advantage of a man with a pipe. I'll buy that. Um, you know, Charles Darwin, I, I just love to hear the stories of all of his travels and all of his theories. He's a big picture thinker. I, I, like, I like to talk to a guy like that, but a fellow peanut butter lover has a direct line to my heart. So, okay, so he's gonna be, he'll, he'll be your daddy. He will. In that way. Okay, all right, let's keep going. What if this is what your science class was like? What would you learn? What about the science teachers showing their class this video? Oh, they're still showing, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome back, Psych 101. Uh, we got some Sigmund Freud for you. I mean, even his pose here is a little scandalous. <laughs> oh, he's got a little Isaac a cigarillo Newton. there. Tell me about Al Hazen. I can't remember. Okay, so we'll just you know you know so Sigmund Freud. Is he a mathematician? Freud, we'll get to him. Of course, Sigmund Freud. You know, basically the the the, the founder of psychoanalysis. Actually, he, even though he won third, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize thirteen times. Wow, that's crazy. But a lot of people find his methods to be completely just not 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 real. A lot of people don't like him. So he is the he's the intellectual enemy of of. Uh, Quite a few. Uh, Isaac Newton, of course, made all kinds of incredible discoveries, most notably gravity, I guess. Um, but in, in, in reading about him, he kind of just seems like a little bit of a guy you wouldn't want to be friends with. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat, because he just seemed to be anal about a lot of things and just oh, yeah? really particular about everything, and so I just want to stab him with my stick. Um, hmm. And then there is Al Hazen, who lived in the, around the Middle Ages. He was a mathematician. Uh, he was an Arab mathematician, astronomer, and physicist of the Islamic Golden Age. Uh, his most influential work is the Book of Optics. Uh, he was the first person to explain that vision occurs when light reflects from an object and then passes to one's eyes. The Book of Optics has seven volumes. I've read them all. Uh, I, think, I think Freud's gonna be my enemy because, why, I mean, everything's not about sex, is it? Uh, well, come on, man. Freud's Let gonna, off it. Freud's gonna be my daddy for obvious reasons because, I mean, he's gonna 
we're going to talk about mommy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what Isaac. it does. And my buddy is going to be Al Hazen so we can uh, sit down and read seven volumes together. I think, you know, I think I'll be friends with uh, Isaac Newton and, uh, and uh, I want Al Hazen to be my actual dad so he can do, uh, do my math for me. Okay. All right. We ain't done. You still learning? Last round. Mm, now we've okay. got George. You got George Carruthers. Carruthers, tell me. Uh, this guy actually died last year. Uh, he's an American inventor, physicist, engineer, and space scientist. He perfected a compact and very powerful ultraviolet camera or spectrograph for NASA to use when they launched Apollo 16. Cool. Uh, he designed it so astronauts could use it on the lunar surface, making all adjustments inside their bulky spacesuits. Um, Carl Linnaeus, this is 17, early 17, well, basically all of the 1700s. He was a Swedish botanist. Uh, he's the guy that came up with the idea of taxidermy, right? Uh, ta tax, tax, taxidermy? <laughs> taxonomy. So I think it was. Oh, so he's a, this, I mean, this guy. The system of naming things. He's got, he's got quite, he's, he's an animal lover and a plant lover. He's a nature lover. Um, which again, the whole time. Carruthers is like a, a, you know, a space innovator. And All then, right. of course, Louis, uh, Louis Pasteur is uh, the microbiologist uh, who discovered, renowned for discoveries and principles of vaccination, microbial fermentation, and pasteurization, and he created vaccines for rabies and anthrax. Whew, we gotta, we gotta give him some love for his his vaccination and in innovations. Um, this is not easy here. This is, this is not easy. Who am I most attracted to? Um, I mean, I definitely. Definitely Linnaeus. I, I wanna be in nature. I wanna be in nature with, uh, with Linnaeus as a buddy. Let's just hang out as a buddy. Oh, you know what? I think as a dad, as a bona fide dad. I think my buddy is gonna be uh, Carruthers, which is sad because he died last year. So, um, you know, so I mean, it makes it all that how can, how can you make the, the vaccine innovator your enemy? I just can't do that to him. Well, but. a kind of process of elimination. He also kind of looks like a jerk. George, I don't know, It's again, it's nothing personal, it's just a matter of elimination here that, uh, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta be my enemy. Color your way through the world of mythicality with the Mythical Coloring Book, available at mythical.com.